What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fath, my man, Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through today's Friday NBA slate. And honestly, I'm getting a little frustrated. I don't know what it is. It's something about when you when I click the roster button, does that mean you have to get three fouls in the first minute that you play? Because it happened with about nine guys last night that I played. <laughs> and it was just a really frustrating night. And, and you know, Nas Reed being the more obvious one, but at least 95% of people played him. But the uh, the TJ Warren and it's just, it just it's just getting frustrating and I it's just one of those stre- stretches you know you go through them you know it'll it'll get better um, but I've I've been a little bit a little bit frustrated with the NBA lately and just just not been able to get things going in uh, in 2023 so far after a pretty good pretty good end to 2022 so ready to get back on track tonight Sheets how are you doing and uh, yeah let's jump into it yeah so let's just uh, get right up to today and, and listen I hate to I hate to to, to make excuses or be this way, mm-hmm. but you know, the, the various content providers I listen to and, and, and the various podcasts I listen to, it's good to see, I guess that the, the, the struggles are, are pretty much across the industry you know, among good players. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not as if like, like, uh, like people are like, what are you, how are you, how are you guys on downswing? This is easy. You know, it, it's, it's, right. it's, uh, it seems as though that it's, it, that, that people that know what they're doing are just kind of just coming up with bad results. I, th- I think that's, that seems to be just what, what's, what's going on. Um, Absolutely. It's just, yeah. And, and there's been a, it's after having an incredibly chalky, like a, a chalk loaded NBA season, like we've never seen so far, like to end the year at the beginning of this year has been absolutely volatile and all over the place with the chalk. So uh, we'll, we'll keep that into consideration as we go through tonight's slate, but I'm probably just going to do one big lineup tonight. I've got a friend visiting in town. So Going to uh, going to try to keep things pretty tame for uh, for DFS play. But- my 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 play tonight is completely going to depend depend on whether I get the Trey Young news, whatever that is, before I have to leave for dinner. That's pretty much it. That's 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 the, as always. We got the sheets Friday dinner. We got to figure out that that part out. Yeah, because um, that's the one bit of news that I'm gonna you know what I mean that I think is that that I think is relevant to me. Um, that um, I think. <laughs> that we have to, that that that's gonna because we already have what's his name uh Christian Wood out I mean that's already been been determined oh we still have Sabonis as, as questionable is that still a thing yeah I mean all these goal questionables I don't know what I can do other than just yeah know. I'm probably I'm listen I always say that and I end up playing I'm, I'm, <laughs> unless unless I get I'm telling you if if I don't have Sacramento and Atlanta news it's just kind of throwing money in the trash can to play so I, I'm gonna. <laughs> We'll I would bet you have Atlanta. I'm not sure you'll have Sacramento, I guess is what I would say on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it is one of those things you have to weigh on your Friday nights. So how much of this <laughs> are you going to be in for, especially on the East Coast where it ends up going till 10. So, yeah. I mean, the the lock times. Anyway, let's jump into the to the game by game because I do think we can, you know, make some, or some early assessments. I, I guarantee you there's going to be more value than there currently appears to be on this slate. It's just, there's just no way we're getting through a Friday slate where there's, there's the best value is Patrick Beverly. <laughs> like It's just not going to happen. That's not what I have. I have barely have Patrick Beverly is anything. My, oh, my, my, my set? No, my, mine is Isaiah Hartenstein. So. Oh, oh, that's right. Well, you know, what's funny is I don't think I accounted for that here too. Cause I think, I think Hartenstein is actually the right answer. Anyway, we'll get into it. Um, let's pull up your screen and, and we'll go game by game here. I do think like, I'll just start off real quick talking about the first game. Cause I don't have a whole, a whole lot to think about. It is, you know, look, it's a good matchup for, for uh, particularly for new Orleans. And I have no problem with playing with like the idea of playing McCollum here. I just don't know that I'm going to prefer him over the other guys. I, I feel like both McCollum and Joe Val have, have really, really strong matchups. And I I'm interested in both. But I don't feel like that this is the best way to allocate my money uh, in this first game. So I'm probably going to be off of this first game. You got, what's his name? Najee Marshall's questionable too. I mean, yeah. And, and he's another one that's actually firmly in play. But I think he's, I, my guess as of right now is that he plays. If he's out, then we can talk about doing some different things and playing some Trey Murphy and maybe a little bit more. I guess Herb Jones will be back. So it actually doesn't really matter that he's, that he's, if, if he's out, it'll be the same thing they've had basically. Another guy who's going to play all those minutes in her job. I mean, for what it's worth, I mean, I, I, Wendell Carter and 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 Valanciunas are both good plays, but they're taking up the center spot, um, which is uh, annoying. Um, consider again, uh, we'll we'll get to the Knicks in a minute. But if you get you get a starting center at three K, I mean, you're going to have to play it. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of with you. Uh, not too much. You have mostly health on, on both sides of that, so I'm probably going to be off of it. Yeah. I did want to point out, by the way, I will be live for uh, for tomorrow for football. I forgot to mention that. What time? 
Um, I'm gonna do it. At, we're, we're gonna do it at uh, uh, what uh, what was the thing? It's at one thirty game. So at, at sorry, four thirty game. So it's at uh, uh, eleven at the two thirty Eastern. So you're gonna do it two hours before game. So it's two thirty Eastern. Yeah, okay. I will definitely not be there. Okay, um, that's cool. But, uh, but uh, I'll try to get Rody. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I knew you were out on that one, but I I was able to squeeze it, so I'm I'm happy to do it. Um, all right. Next up, we have Golden State Cleveland Sheets. Uh, Golden State on a back to back. What do you What do you like if anything here? They're probably going to sit everybody now. I, I, you'd imagine. So I, I would I would just go ahead and assume that Clay probably sits. I will assume. I actually assume that I actually think Steph and Draymond will probably play. Um, but I don't know. Uh, as of right now, it's kind of hard to know without without knowing who's going to play. Uh, you know, J Michael Green and, and Kaminga are questionable. Not that that'll matter unless we get all the guys out. So as of right now, I don't think there's a whole lot to do on the Golden State side. And to be honest with you, I don't see anything really that I, I want to desperately do on the Cleveland side outside of maybe maybe Evan Mobley as a play. But I, I don't again not, not overly excited about this game. Oh, you're like to say, one I, would, I, I, I would like to say I would like to say. That um, although he he, you know, he did fine, forty three fantasy points last night. Jordan Poole, uh, he played forty three minutes. You yeah. know, they so, started him. They 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 changed their lineup. However, I don't think he played in the overtime, which is. Uh, I think he did. I don't think he did actually. That's really weird. Maybe. It may be because they were getting beaten up down low. It's possible. I actually forgot to double check yeah, that. I don't. Think, but not nonetheless. Um, uh, I I. This is this is what you just have to see is playing. I, I'll be, listen, if they if they sit um, if they sit Curry, then then Poole is going to be a smash, you know. Or well, he's going to be smash. He's going to look like a smash. I don't know if he's actually going to smash, but he's going to look like one. Um, okay. Just have to see. I'm just going to see. Got to see right now. I I I just think it's kind of silly to speculate. Um, I think Garland is just going to continue to be a good play. I think that Donovan, even if Mitchell's back. No, no, no. Yeah, I think both. Uh, yeah, I like them both. Okay. Um, uh, I think they're both going to look like good plays, but we're just going to have to see what to do on the other side of this. Um, so I'm just going to wait. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's pretty pretty accurate. Um, I, I, I'm curious what happens with Mitchell. If if Mitchell's out, I'm just, again, I'll just go back to Garland and or Levert. I'll play either yeah. play one or both. Um, and I don't think it's even much to question. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't raise Levert's price a little bit more, just like in case you get some of these Mitchell games out. But yeah, as of right now, Mobley's the only one who really stands out as being a decent play in this game. All right, uh, what do you got for Minnesota Dallas? Is that what, what well, Miami for? Dallas, yeah. and you have Christian Wood out, right? So, so, so you have you know that case that you you get from time to time. You're going to see Dwight Powell projected like six x, um, and the question is what what do, what do you do with that? Okay, the, the couple of things about this is. The Christian Wood rebounds are going to probably go somewhere, but I think it's just as likely they go to like Dorian Finney-Smith or or even to Luca for that matter. Um, yeah. So I don't. It's weird if Isaiah Hardenstein like becomes like the value I think he will, then Powell will be an afterthought. But if Hardenstein for whatever, I, I don't know how he doesn't become a value. I mean, one of these, you know, either him or Derek, Jericho Sims is starting at three K, right, or something. So, um, uh, but I I, I usually get talked off of Dwight Powell. I always want to play him. You tell me not to, but then I play him anyway, and then I'm pissed at myself. And he never okay. gets there. And he never gets there. He's been right? starting so, at 3K for four years. And yeah, he's, and he's yeah. never gotten there. Yeah, okay. but the one thing he does have going is it's not just that Wood's gone. Kleba's out, too. I know. So there is a little bit more to go around. The only problem is, like, why wouldn't it be just as much of JaVale McGee minutes as that would Dwight Powell? Thought um, of that. Yeah, but but so, so I'm not I'm not as into it, personally. Um, I actually think DFS is at a price where uh, yes. Darius Smith. I think thirty eight hundred. That's that's a that's a the first play on the slate that we've talked about that I can immediately say will probably be in my first bill. I do think he gets you know he picks up a little bit with Christian Wood out and thirty eight hundred is thirty eight hundred for a guy who's going to play thirty seven minutes or something. You know what I mean? Um, anything on the uh, Miami side for you? No, except to say that I think they win. Uh, that's that's. Uh... That's what I have. I haven't, I haven't bet. I haven't put out an NBA bet in a while. I don't know. It just looks like, looks like Miami's, I think, healthy, like for the first time in like, in like forever. You know, and, it's very and, strange to see them favored in Dallas for me, considering it is. But, but this, I think this Christian Wood, this rebounding thing, this could be a problem. 
uh, I don't know. I, I, I think Miami's going to have a good game here. Um, I think they'll – it was so stupid to say. I think they'll scheme and try to get – you know, try to do what everybody's doing now and just and just trap, you know, get the ball out of Luca's hands, come up with something, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I I don't want to play Luca here. <laughs> I really – Yeah, this is a matchup where I'm with you. I I, I don't yeah. like playing against the Miami guard – like the, the way they guard point guards and they, and they will trap them like I agree with you. I actually think, though, that because of the ownership is the only thing I, I can – I think he's going to be really low owned and low owned Luca against anybody is always going to have a little bit of interest, especially when he's at home. And I swear, if you look at some of the home stuff, when he plays there, I don't know if they're counting to like, he, he throws one pass and it's all of a sudden he's got two assists. It's like, I swear there's something with the scorekeeping or something. So he always has big games there, but, um, but yeah, as of right now, it's, it's, it's definitely not the spend up I want, but I, I do think DFS is a very very strong play at, at first look, even though that doesn't doesn't usually feel good on big slates. I feel a lot better with it at 3,800 and with no Christian Wood. I happen to think, as we go to the, the Knicks, uh, Knicks game, I happen to think that Trey is going to play. Um, mm-hmm. he, like, he, he tends to play. I mean, if he doesn't play, it's usually for a reason. Um, I think he's going to play against the Knicks. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing, actually, first thing is that you know, Mitch, Ro- Mitch Robinson is out, you know, and, and and what they don't do, which they could, um, is play Randall at the five, but they just don't. Um, so I think they're going to, they're going to start Hardenstein. I think he's going to be 3k and I think people are going to play him and I think it's going to, I'm going to be one of them. Um, that's just kind of the way it's going to be. I think now, again, if you want, you could play, you could play Jericho Sims. He's going to probably be splitting those, those center minutes. And you can play him at power forward if you want. Um, and God forbid Hardenstein gets a couple of fouls, you know? And Or what, what if Jericho Simmons is playing better? I don't know. Um, I, think, I think one of these – I think you just have to play one of these two. That's that's my opinion. Um, and on the uh, – what else from the Knicks? Uh, I guess I guess Randall probably gets some more rebounds. I mean, he already, he's only 9,800. It's funny to say it that way. But but he is only ninety eight hundred, and he just plays seventy four minutes a game, and just like <laughs> you know, whatever. So I do like him. Brunson's probably just a little bit too expensive for me right now. If Trey plays, guess. But for me, I'm just I'm going to start with Hardenstein and just then just plug in the rest of my lineups. I think. What about wait? Hold on. What about I'll, I'll give you one. Here. Um, let's go. How about, how about RJ Barrett? We talked about him the other day. That's what I had written down. Yeah, maybe, maybe him. So who, who, who do you like here? Um, I think RJ Barrett's price is getting to be more appealing. I tend, I, I do tend to play him more at, at home. Um, I, I, I just think his production is, is much better there from what I remember. Um, but, but look, you're getting a million minutes in, in a game against Atlanta at 6,500 for a guy, you know, I, I just, I just think it's worth playing, worth, worth taking a shot there. Um, so Barrett or I think Barrett or Randall are, are completely fine here. Um, and I think that, I, as you mentioned, it's, I, I actually don't think there's anything wrong with playing Jalen Brunson. I just don't, I don't feel the need to do that. I think I'd rather play McCollum. It's pretty close. Um, and I, I don't have any, any overwhelming interest on the Atlanta side, but just you could do a cheap little mini thing for guys who were not used to playing so cheap and, and play Bogdanovich and, uh, Played Bogdanovich on one side and Barrett on the other, and I think that those, both those guys are 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 very very reasonable. I am a little bit more worried about the Hartenstein thing than maybe most people would be because I don't think that he necessarily has to split all the minutes with Jericho Sims. They have given Sims more minutes every now and then, they, like in the last game, Sims got more minutes than Hartenstein did. Um, and then you've got Obi Toppin in the mix again, who's actually getting like you know even those ten to twelve minutes that those those could go up and. He could end up being the five, so it's a little nerve wracking. The Hartenstein play—I don't feel like as much as as much of a lock as I used as I usually would with Hartenstein at three K. It's it's a typical thing that always happens. Hartenstein, you know, without him, and then he puts up like nine fantasy points. And then the first game, Mitch Rob comes back, he puts up like forty. <laughs> like, right. it just makes no sense. But I am a little worried about the Hartenstein play. I still have him as a priority. It's just a little tricky. But I, I like the idea of getting some exposure to the Knicks, especially Barrett. I'm trying to decide if Atlanta, like. I think John Collins is is reasonably priced, and I think that Bogdanovich is reasonably priced. But and, and, and Trey is ninety four. Like all of these guys are fine to me, but I don't feel like for some reason I don't have this this desperate urge to to play these guys. They're just a lot. They're really healthy, and not a lot I can do. And anything I'm missing here? Are you are you into any of this? No. 
I mean, maybe Bogdanovich, if he plays, if he doesn't play, then it's other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I actually think that, you know, you know, I may like the most is Ajante Murray. Um, even, that, even Trey plays. He, I mean, he's put up 40, 48, 49, and 51 his last three games. Trey played all of them. Uh, yeah. You know, he's 7,800, so he's at least worth considering. But, you know, I, I don't know. As of right now, I'm not, I'm not overly excited. And, um, yeah, Trey and Bogdanovich are both questionable, by the way. So it is something we have to keep an eye out for. Because yep. otherwise, we might, we're probably going to be back in the Jante Murray season again if those guys are out. So, all right. Next up, we have the Clippers and Spurs. Uh, Sheets, take it away. Pass. Yeah, I mean, same here. I mean, want to try Collins at 3,800? I mean, is a pivot off of Hartenstein? I don't know. Um, Josh Richardson, these are these are just bad. I'm not bad. These are, they're just they're they're plays. If there's no other value on the slate, but there will be. I mean, I'd rather play Dorian Finney-Smith than all these guys. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I I got nothing here. You got both 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 Paul George and Kawhi play, which basically sucks all the fantasy points out of this game. Yeah, um, I can't I can't find anything that makes a lot of sense to me in this game. Uh, Keldon Johnson was probably your best tournament play on the Spurs side, but I'm not all that excited about that. Not all that excited about Podol. So I'm probably going to be off this one. It's just like you. So what are you telling me? Oh, oh, uh, Brichette is uh, we go to the Indiana again. Brichette is is a uh, is a dude today. Um, he's just he's just been getting minutes. It's 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 hard with the indie guys because they just rotate like, and you don't know who it's going to be from game to game. And you know, Brissett was you know what you like to see. He was one of eleven in the last game, and he put up twenty one fantasy points anyway. Um, he's been playing enough minutes, and he's fair. You know, he's usually fairly productive. Uh, but I I don't know. It doesn't feel great to me personally. I would like to figure something out to do with indie, but it's hard because. How are they? This is going to be a hard game for them to stay. And they've got tons of these guys who they're just like are interchangeable. Like, what are they playing here? They're going to play 10 guys, right? And like seven of them are guards. Eight of them are guards. Like, they're just, I mean, between McConnell, Nemhard, like I'm, some of these guys have got to be okay. But I just feel like I don't feel great about any of them. Do you have anybody who's really? Yeah, so I want to talk about, I want to, I want to get into this. I want, I want to pull up the popcorn machine. Yeah, for for the Miles Turner because I want to see what the hell what what that was all about. All I saw was that he busted. I I didn't see exactly what happened because he only played five minutes and then he didn't come back till right before. That's what battle. I'm saying. So he played like six minutes, then didn't come back till midway through the second quarter. Then he played six minutes and then they basically gave up. Okay, then it was basically blowout run. They they literally gave up midway through the third quarter. Yeah, that'll probably happen again tonight. You see that, right? So they're all they're all there. Yeah. Because if you look at it, it's so funny. I mean, you look at the not he's three for four from the field, it's three just, rebounds, six blocks. Yeah. Four turnovers, but whatever. Um, but he, he only played 20 minutes. He only played 20 minutes. I was trying to think of why they just got run out of the building. Okay. Yeah. And and this, you know, listen, this very well could happen again, but this is a this is a good spot for him. You know what I mean? Like, like uh Jokic don't feel like running out to guard his no. threes, you know. Uh so I think this is a good spot for him to bounce back. So I actually like him. Um, and then, like you said, I mean the Carlisle rotations are a little bit tough to predict sometimes. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think I would play Brissett. But um, Jokic is listen. If, if if Hartenstein is a good play, for example, at three K, then on the one hand, if Jokic becomes a good play because you can afford him, but on the other hand. He's going to be in the center spot, uh, Jokic. So maybe not. I'll tell you what's going to be the real, the real chalk is if somehow Jericho Sims gets the start. Yeah, and play if people play him a power forward. You know that then then that that's that's what seventy percent old looks like. I think right, hundred um, uh, percent. But I like Jokic. I mean, why not? Uh, uh, makes sense to me. So I, I like Jokic. I'll let you tell me whether to play Jamal Murray or not. I ever once every every day I've been I've been flicking in some Michael Porter Jr. and hasn't quite worked out last couple. You know, I just feel as though he still has that ability oh, yeah. somewhere. You know, yeah, he's um, been. I mean, it's it, 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 it's a little different now. Like Aaron Gordon has yeah. taken a leap and become a much better player, 
And I think that is much more a part of the team than he used to be, which sort of takes away a little bit of, That's true. of Porter. But I do think both Porter and Murray are at, at very reasonable prices, and I don't mind either of them. But overall, I don't want to, like, uh, you know, I, I do think it's going to be really hard for Indiana to keep this game close. I, I think this could be, like, an absolute, like, smash just blown out. Um, so I'm not... It, it's weird so far what we've gone through i haven't really liked much of anything <laughs> like, right. um but which maybe is going to tell me i'm going to like something soon because I, I know i like i know i like one of the games coming up um but as of right now i'm mostly it's just uh mpj or, or or murray for me all right and then we have to get into the what the hell is brooklyn going to do on a back-to-back -back? and there and there it is by the way i announced it what there's the Murray. tyree troll game there it is. He went nuts, but I mean, the thing is, the only thing is, it didn't matter because it was the same price as Steph, who also put up the same number. I know, but remember, we said, he can't he can't get there against like against OKC. He can't get there against the Pelicans, but against Phoenix, not a problem. Forty minutes, sixty fancy points, amazing. Um, but now, this is one of the more difficult back to backs. They used to not even allow this one. I know, you know to go to Utah out of back to backs. Um, uh, so that's a, this is a tough spot. Well, it's a tough spot. I mean, it's only seven point spread or whatever, but I don't know if I would go back to, well, I definitely would not go back to Kyrie. Um, and what happened to Simmons? Did he get ejected? It was something. Yeah, he was ejected. Was he? Uh, yeah, he was. Um, how was two, he? Two technicals in the third quarter, having played 18 minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's so he got ejected. I wonder if that means he's going to get not suspended. If they're going to, they can't rest him after playing 18 minutes, right? I yeah, mean, you'd think that he'd be playing on this one, but we saw we saw it happen where the Clippers guys have played like 15 minutes and then they didn't. Play. Kyrie might sit. I think he. I think so. Like it. Yeah, it's it's hard to know. I mean, this is a tough game to handle. 9 I mean, p.m. Kyrie sit. Yeah, this is. It's well, I'll, I'll say. I'll, I'll promise you guys this: is that if I play tonight, like then you can count on me never missing this. I mean, like honestly, like, <laughs> if I if I bet into this shit show, there's no, you could count on me never missing one. Um, so, but we'll 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 see. Yeah. Okay. So, like, one thing is though, like on the other side of this game, like, and I guess that if we by the end of the day, like I, this game stood out as not not as a stack for me, but like by the end of the day, we may end up stacking it because if Brooklyn sits anybody, um, right now, like I I think Sexton and Beasley are both at really. Like oh, nice. reasonable prices to take shots on them, but ne neither am I like overly like oh you have to play this guy. But I think that they're both reasonable. Those are the those are the my currently two most reasonable plays in this game. And maybe maybe we we just keep riding the Walker Kessler wave. <laughs> you know, I, this guy this kid is really good. And like, why are we not? Why is no one going to play a guy who just puts up thirty five to sixty every night at fifty seven hundred? I think that this is very reasonable. So I, I am considering Walker Kessler at 5,700. Actually, you know right. I might even do that. All right. So the, the next two games, Memphis, LA, OKC, Sacramento, mm -hmm. the, the existence of these two games is probably what's going to make me pl play this slate come hell or high water. <laughs> okay. Because because I, I could make the argument that that I don't care too much what I have to play in these early games. As long as if I listen, if I put in Hartenstein or whatever, uh, and what and and whatever, I I can get like just almost everybody from these games, you know, um, yeah. because the thing you mentioned, like Sabonis, um, uh, what you would call it, he's questionable, but but fine by me. It's ten o'clock at night, you know what I mean? Like we'll we'll we'll, right. we'll, we'll play other guys in this game, and then we'll we'll, we'll wait on it. But right. let's, I mean, let's look at both these. Guys. So Memphis, L.A. I think that I think that uh, what's his name, Ja is totally reasonable at ninety six hundred. Which game um, are you going on? Which game are you on here? Because I'm, 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 I'm looking at Memphis LA first, but okay, I'm looking okay. at two of them together, honestly. But but okay. but I'm, I'm looking at Memphis first. So I think Ja ninety six hundred is completely reasonable in this spot um, against the Lakers, and, and, and I think that LeBron at eleven three is kind of rough, um, but. You're you're not gonna tell me that 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 a Ja LeBron mini stack doesn't have some appeal. You know what I mean? So so I I, I might I might take a shot at that. Probably gonna have to take a shot at the la the last game instead. But 
But but the job, ja, but the job, ja LeBron makes sense. And I just think that Ja ninety six hundred against the Lakers is just kind of. I hate to say this, like almost insulting. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, it's he's probably going to get up for this game. A score, I don't know, one hundred twenty five point implied team total. Isn't he getting seventy? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, well, I just want to point out that Jaw. I don't think Jaw's had like a huge game like that the whole season with Desmond Bain. No, no with Desmond Bain playing. That's that's the key, and Desmond Bain will play. Um, they also have Jackson, Adams, Brooks, all healthy. Jaw was going nuts early in the season without those guys. Now I'm saying all this, but I'm still 100 percent with you that Jaw is a terrific play here. I think I he's. Mean, I'll, I'll, Awesome. I mean, we, 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 can, we can make all kinds of I can make all kinds of excuses, but yeah. But, um, no, no, and they played a lot of blowouts. There's, there's a lot of a lot of reasons why it's hard for him to get there. This the could game. be another one. <laughs> yeah, they have the best backup point guard in the NBA. Um, I don't right. think. I, I mean, they're seven point favorites here. I think the Lakers hang in this game. I, I really do. Um, it's not like you know all the Lakers stuff lately. It's not like these people they've been going out there getting waxed by people. Like they lost right. by they lose by one and they lose in overtime. Uh, LeBron's put up 60 or more in four straight games. I like that jaw and LeBron thing. I'm totally on board with it. Um, and that's the way I, I would, I would, I would, I would play this game. I would play, I would play jaw. And I'm, I, and by the way, I like the other pieces too. If I'm not, if you're not going to play jaw in the lineup, I think Desmond Bain is reasonable. I think Dylan Brooks at 4,800, who I never play, but it's 4,800. It's a little, a little bit like, even if you just use him as a filler in case there's late news, I think that's reason that's reasonable. Steven Adams at 5,800 and a great matchup. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. All of these guys have some level of appeal for me. So I, I'm just going to write down that I will be, I'm almost positive I'll be playing at least one guy from Memphis. And right now it's Jaw, but I, I wouldn't mind getting Jaw and Adams and then running it back with LeBron on the other side. And and they, they've sort of, they're, they're starting to fall in love with Wendy and Gabriel a little bit, a little bit. I don't think I want to go that far. So it's probably just LeBron and maybe Beverly for me. But I kind of like though that little that little stack here, and, and maybe doing a Stephen Adams, uh, Ja, LeBron, and Beverly. And so I think just he, just just play. just humor me for a second. You tell, tell me about tell me again about this Beverly play. He's thirty six hundred. That's it. Has he even gotten twenty fantasy points? I mean, he's gotten there more times than the other guys we've played. <laughs> but but it, they're also short of bodies. Um, you know what I mean? They they're only. They, they, it, it, I mean, all I'll say I'll say this. I mean, like okay, it's a little, so, it's a little suspect for sure. I, I just want to just want to. I'm just gonna just call a number. So the last five games, not him, just like the the total points the Lakers have been involved in: two twenty seven, two seventy two, two thirty, two seventy, and two forty five or something. And he still's not getting twenty fantasy points. I mean, well, two of those games he didn't play, but but I hear you. I'm seeing 27, 22, 12, 26, 24. Those, those are, those are the minutes he played. Yeah. So yeah. they're, they're short bodies. So, so I, you say that, isn't it just Trudeau, Westbrook and, and LeBron would bring the ball. I mean, is Beverly really playing like 25 minutes? I mean, is that, that's what's happening. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's been, even, even in those games you mentioned, he's definitely played. I mean, he played 26 yeah, minutes. No, I see that. If you have a, if you have a good, if you have a, a the better your guard play is, the more he's going to be on the court because they don't want short air and Westbrook matching up with job. Yeah. So. I'll tell you this, this is, this is a hundred game slate and you definitely get some pieces of uh, let's, let's go well, back. But, but, but look at it. Like I'm looking at it, like with Beverly and, and Dylan Brooks, who I mentioned, I, I'm just use them as placeholders. Like, you know what I mean? This game doesn't start. No, so you don't even need them as placeholders. You, you, you play this, both these games. Cause I'm going back on the slate here. I'm looking at this, like the new Orleans, new Orleans, uh, Orlando game basically I mean you can sort of make it but it doesn't exist the Cleveland game unless the Golden State guys are out I mean Cleveland's like is where fantasy points go to die they have 10 points the lowest team to, lower than any other team total uh total on the slate right then mm -hmm. Miami Dallas when's the last time Miami gave up any fantasy points to somebody except for you know but Lucas whatever the the Knicks the Knicks Atlanta I guess that's okay I mean you could just just delay this whole freaking slate until these last two games. So we're getting this OKC Sacramento game, which is which is just freaking godsend, right? I mean, like the only thing that's annoying is that like, everybody's playing, but <laughs> whatever. Right. I mean, you have Giddy on the floor, you have Shea on the floor, you have Fox on the floor. This game can, can go freaking bananas, you know? Mm -hmm. Um and and uh you have possible well I think that whether Sabonis plays or not, I mean if Sabonis plays, I think he's a great play. And I think if he doesn't play, then someone else is a great play, you know? So, so I just think this game can go, it can go freaking crazy. Um, 
And I like Shay and I like Giddy and I don't think I'll go back to the Dort, but 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 what what is Sangoon what does Sangoon look like? Um not Sangoon, sorry, other teams are right there. Um so yeah, I mean I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda into this whole thing. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think that, you know, even like, look, Dort's even reasonable if you wanted to stack the game up. I, he's not, I don't think he's going to have his, as, as, I mean, he was incredibly efficient in the last game, but um, 5K is reasonable as, a, as just a, a play. Like, it's not a guy who I, I ever want to try to get on a big slate, but um, it's if, I, if it's exposure to this game environment and I can play him with Sabonis and like Giddy or something like that, I think that's completely reasonable for what it's worth. I do think Sabonis probably does play. Um, and I think he's in a, in a really good spot. Um, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to deny that he's not a, as good a play or really close to LeBron at a cheaper price tag. So tough position, I, but I, is it, I, I don't look at center tonight as being like, yeah. So you're, you're not seeing this, this Isaiah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm only looking at Hartenstein as, yeah. as a potential value. Like everybody else is, basically irrelevant to me who who shows up as the best point for dolly i have no interest in miles turner i have no interest in valanchunas yeah that's my problem i, I, I want to play all these guys but i can't because i'm going to have to play stupid hardenstein uh, i i don't know though if i were you maybe maybe don't play hardenstein because you like these other guys that's that's what i would do i just don't like these other guys um but i i, I you know my most my favorite thing of all the things is is the lakers Memphis and I think Sacramento OKC yeah and, and then Brooklyn I'm sorry and then New York and Atlanta are the three games that I think are the most interesting but as priority like guys like I do think Hartenstein and DFS stand out from a price a point per dollar standpoint by the end of the day who knows that could be Jericho Sims um, instead of Hartenstein and uh, it could be Obi Toppin to be honest with you instead of either of them at some point they'll let Obi Toppin play maybe, maybe he plays 30 minutes for once um but you have that obvious value to stack with the late games is, is sort of the way I'm treating this slate sheets. Does that, that make enough sense? How much, um, if you had a, a center playing in a game like against Atlanta, for example, and he was going to play 48 minutes, like probably we'd get about 48 fantasy points, right? It wouldn't happen, but like just to say. Yeah, but I that's that's the problem is do we are we sure that they're gonna split those minutes? No, I'm not. Them. I'm not. Yeah. Um but I'm just looking at paying six K for for six X. Um uh yeah. between Sims and playing them both together somehow. And that yeah, can't be good. That just can't. It's it's tough because there's too much of the time somebody plays 28 and the other guy plays 20 and one guy puts up 30 and the other guy puts up 10. Like so, even if you get there, you don't really want to. Get and, the Knicks, and the Knicks are not going to play them together. And you don't need like you know we just we talked about some some good spend ups, but you've got the DFS and Hartenstein already. That immediately brings your your salary way down. And, or 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 Sims yeah. or whatever you know what I mean. And I don't I don't think you need to go much beyond that, especially because I'm pretty sure we're going to hear about some other news a little later. Yeah. But DFS is a good play. Hardenstein or somebody from the Knicks front court's a good play. So you get starting off with some some two decent bits of value. And again, use the usual caveats with 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 Dorian Finney Smith. He could play 40 minutes and score eight fantasy points. It's definitely in the range of outcomes. But I I do think that Christian Wood being out really does help him with the rebounds um uh today. Um hasn't made a difference the last four years, but we'll yeah. see. he's not much of a rebounder. <laughs> but but look but who's gonna get him though i mean like uh i mean luca is like an i guess luca is one of the top rebounders in the nba um yeah. and uh i mean it, it's a fair point but i mean also like how many misses a slow down game and i'm just looking at the, the minutes even like it just it's not like he's playing all the minutes with christian wood either and most of them are not with christian wood and he just like it's talk about a guy who's hard to get there i mean it's like it's like a it's like an extreme Patrick Beverly, but at the same time, if he's starting, I, I see where you're coming from. Like, and also we haven't seen him without Kleba and and Wood that much this year. So that and, that's and obviously watch the. Uh, meanwhile, you talk about like guys play some back to back. So two days ago, so so Curry played last night. Where where did who did they play? They played they played Boston in overtime. 
Wait, so they played Boston overtime the day before he was at a UVA game in Virginia. What a guy. Just yeah, he, was around. Ty, he was sitting with Ty Jerome at a UVA game. I guess promoting. We must have been promoting something, but he was there. They were, UVA, they were like a match under the pace. They were like all over, like Steph Curry, like showing up at a UVA game just mm-hmm. randomly. I, but, but it wasn't random, obviously. He was there for something. And then, like, so he, he goes to the UVA game, then travels to Boston to play to, to play that. Yeah. He's, just, he's sitting. Yeah, he's I, I think he's sitting, too. Um, look, and, and by the way, I mean, they would have been underdogs in this game anyway, but they're eight-point underdogs in Cleveland. I don't know if Golden State's been an eight-point underdog in years with when they've had their guys healthy. So I I, I yeah. think that even, even if I agree with the line to some extent – I don't think it's necessarily right, like um, to assume that the Curry's going to play. So we'll have to take a look. And by the way, if Curry's out, I'm not going to go crazy and over re- overreact. And by the way, it may be Wiggins who's out too because he just came back and right. played nine minutes last night. It could be Draymond. Um, but we know we know as of right now, Clay is not even on the the players list, so he's he's going to be out. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, I, I think I, I still think my favorite parts are the later games, and and I'll, I will throw this out there: the, the guy who I think is maybe one of the sneakiest, and for whatever reason, no one wants to play him here. Um, I just think like Walker Kessler, we're seeing like a brand new like thing with him. It's not he's a different guy than we've seen so far. He was always good per minute at this early, earlier in the year when he was you know playing with Olenek and every and backing up Olenek. Then they started him with Olenek, and then the last four games he's just gone nuts, and he he has an incredible ability to rebound he's an excellent shot blocker like that that he's gonna have a 10 block 10 10 rebound uh, you know a triple double with blocks basically i bet you before the season's over i i just think that guy's got a tremendous ceiling so i really like walker kessler as a little bit of a way to get different maybe you play him with the hartenstein so Uh, so here's an here's an interesting question so i just scrolled through okay so for hartenstein to really justify you know, 50, you know, 67, 65% ownership. That's what he gets. He's going to need to score what? 30? Uh, 25 is, is plenty. 25 is plenty. Yeah. So I, mean, I, 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 I scrolled through just to see how many times this season he scored over 30. And he has done it a couple of times. But yeah. I want to show you the amount of minutes he had to play to get there. This time he played 40 minutes. Yeah, I know. Against Memphis. And then the other time he played 38 minutes. Historically, he's one of the best fantasy point per minute producers in the NBA. And oh, it's been strange that this year it hasn't been like that. I mean, we, we were seeing him play games for the Clippers where he was playing 14 minutes and putting up 35 fantasy points. Like he was just going nuts. It just hasn't been that kind of year. And 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 it is it does feel a little suspect, Sheets. I'm not gonna lie. Like Yeah, I I uh maybe maybe this is the maybe the, and, and, and I'll tell you something else. Like the 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 sneaky, the sneaky player people will be people playing Jericho Sims. Maybe, maybe the super sneaky play is to just play neither of them and just, just, <laughs> just, I just hope, I just yeah. hope they hope they play Randall at the five. Or maybe, you know, if, if it was like the night slate or something, maybe you should we could speculate with your with the with the with your uh, Obi Toppin idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that I, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility, but it is. It, it does feel ugly when you look at the game logs and keep in mind that Mitch Rob was also out for some of those games. So Ooh. it's not like we had a, a lockdown on it. And then Jericho Sims started starting and then only playing 10 minutes. And then he had other games where he was coming off the bench where he was playing 20 some odd. So I really don't know what they're going to do. It's it's very hard to, to, to figure the Knicks out on this one, but as of right now, I'm going to put him in my early builds because there's no way I'm going to ignore the, the three K starting center. If he is in fact the starting center. Yeah, this is uh have to see. And I wonder when they're gonna put they're gonna put their starting lineups out. Yeah. 720, 722, probably. Probably right around there, around there, to be honest with you. Yeah. They have the excuse of a guy being out. So whenever a team has that, they like do it like five minutes before lock. That's, but, uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. So you may not know, and it might be a, it might be a flooding of one one way or the other at the end of the day, which is gonna be fun because then you have to re-sort of structure your lineups because then you can play different centers if you want to play what's his name at the four, um, the Jericho Sims. So right. it is interesting, but, but for what it's worth against Atlanta, who does give up fantasy points to centers and plays, uh, you know, they have three bigs on the court, like two bigs on the court, like all the time. Um, it makes me feel a little bit better about the minutes for either Sims or Hartenstein. Um, the only thing that worries me is the OB top and minutes getting in the way and then none of them getting there, <laughs> but 
I guess we just have to see. Um, anyway, I'll be live at six. I'm guessing, Sheets, are you around or not? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll be there at six. Oh, great. Okay. okay. So we'll have me and Sheets at six, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Hopefully, we'll, we can make some, some better sense out of this slate. But I, I think the idea of using the value and playing the late games is my favorite thing we came up with. So that's what I'm going to do. Good uh, luck, everybody. Uh, hang in there for a second.